Hey everyone, so it is New Year's Eve, and originally I had planned to just stay in and watch Kohaku, but I realized I don't want to watch it on my really small um, TV on my phone, and I didn't want to like just sit in my room by myself when it turned midnight, because that's kind of lame, so I decided to go out clubbing with my friends, um, so yeah, it's just a, it's just a couple of us, but I'm going to go in like 40 minutes to head out to Shibuya. And the trains are running all night tonight because it's like a special New Year's Eve thing. Um, so we are going to go to a mountain um, at like 2.30 or 3 in the morning um, and watch the sunrise. So that should be pretty fun. Um, uh, but yeah, besides that, uh, after Christmas, well on Christmas I just went out to dinner with a couple friends. Um, we got like really traditional Japanese food in this really small shop and... We were like seated upstairs, um, and there's like a group of four businessmen too, and it was kind of funny. And yeah, we ate really delicious food there. And afterwards, we pretty much just went back and ate ice cream and hung out and then walked home. And then the next day, oh, okay, yeah, the next day, um, I had to go turn in. No, that wasn't the next day. Okay, I don't know what I did the day after. The day after the day after Christmas. Yeah, the day after the day after Christmas, the 27th. Um, I had to go turn in some papers at campus. So I had to go pick them up from my friend's place because she printed them for me. And I was bringing, like, everybody's papers. So I went to do that. And then um, I went to a concert with my friend because she had an extra ticket. And she figured she didn't want to waste it. So I could just go with her for free. And it was Nico Touches the Walls, which I had like one song of theirs, and she had given me the rest of their music like the day before their concert, so I didn't really get a chance to learn it. But I recognized a few of the songs. But then about halfway through, well, actually, okay, when we got there, when we got there, they made you buy a drink. Like you had to pay 500 yen and get a drink token. So like you pretty much had to get a drink. Um, and so they had a list of drinks, and some of them were alcoholic, some of them weren't. Um, but I did not intentionally intend to buy an alcoholic drink, but I did. It said lychee soda. I, well, apparently it was under the cocktail section, my bad. Um, but yeah, I drank that before the concert, and I was feeling fine. Um, I was just kind of tired because I, like, I ran around all day turning in those papers and like walking for like two hours. Um, and yeah, I was totally fine, like the first half of the concert, like eight songs in or so. And... Then the music seemed like it was getting really, really loud, and like the the drum beats, the the, the 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 I don't even know what they're called. It's the one with the foot pedal. Uh, that drum beat got like really, really strong, and I could like feel it. And then I passed out twice. Um, yeah. Apparently, well, like. I thought, oh, well, you know, maybe I just, like, need to drink some water. And so I drank some water, and then I passed out again. Um, so, yeah, I passed out twice in the middle of a concert, which had never happened. And I go to, like, crazy rock concerts in the U.S., and so that was kind of crazy. Um, but, yeah, after the second time, my friend was like, let's get out of here. And I was like, okay. Um, so pretty much we went to the lobby, and they had, like, a group of assistant people who had like wet towels and water and stuff and so I pretty much just sat there and I figured after that I would be fine so we could just like go back in but my friend was like no no like you need to go eat something or whatever because I'd only eaten well I mean I ate bread earlier in the day but I guess walking around that much and going to a standing concert and stuff like that kind of didn't work that well so she was like, no, 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 it's fine, like, let's just leave, and so we did, and I felt really bad, um, especially since, like, I didn't even, like, pay for my ticket, um, but yeah, so we left early, I mean, we could actually hear them still playing music, because we were sitting right next to the stage, kind of, on the outside of it, um, but yeah, she insisted that we leave, so then we did, um, so then after that, we went to First Kitchen and got food, and walked around um, Odaiba a little bit, and then went home. So yeah, uh, yeah, <laughs> that was not good. Um, 
so I've been trying to like eat more because she keeps blaming it on me not eating. I really think it was the alcohol though because <laughs> that's never been a problem at other concerts and I've gone to a lot of concerts, a lot of concerts and a lot of concerts where I haven't like eaten immediately before. I've gone to a lot of standing concerts too. I've gone to concerts where they practically mosh and I've never passed out. So I think it was the alcohol. It was probably the alcohol that did it. Um, so I'm never drinking at a concert again. Which brings me to another point, I'm probably not going to drink tonight, even though it's New Year's Eve. Well, technically, we get one free drink at the club, but one one drink isn't, isn't going to kill me, so one will be okay. Because I've drank at clubs before, and it's not that big of a deal. Um, but yeah, uh, then the day after that, um, I went to the travel agency to go talk to them about Korea, because, well, yeah, I, I saw the deals online, and so I went to their office in Shibuya, and... Um, Luckily, they spoke English there, so I talked to them about it, and they gave me the rates, and it's like 2.30 round trip, including all the taxes. So I texted all my friends and told them, and we had to find out like immediately how many people we needed to book for because they were closing for the holidays, so I had to like wait out in the lobby and like call everyone and text everyone, and pretty much everyone got back to me. So then I put down everyone's names, nationality, or whatever, and so we pretty much have it reserved. Um, but we still have to go pay for them. And we're planning on going for about six nights, five full days, like I guess six days. But we get there kind of late-ish. We get there around three, and then we have to get to our hostel, and then we are coming back around 10 in the morning. So yeah, it's like five and a half days and six nights. So that'll be pretty fun. I'm really excited. Um, Flights, yeah, like 2.30. Um, the hostel's going to be like, I don't know, um, probably the equivalent of like 1,500 yen a night. It's 19,000 won. Or, did you just say? Yeah, that's right. Okay. Uh, yeah, 19,000 won, um, which is about 1,500 yen. So, yeah, that's like really, really cheap. And I just made out, I made an itinerary last night to plan like all five of the days and nights and stuff because there's a lot of stuff that you want to do and it's kind of hard to figure it out if you don't plan it in advance so I spent like all of last night planning out this thing um and yeah it, it's looking pretty promising like um we're going to some really big shopping hot spots there's a big clubbing night there's um few entertainment things that we might go to, um, Latte World, well, well, I don't even know how you say it, L-O-T-T-E World, um, including like Star Avenue and stuff. Um, we might go visit like the SM building, uh, we're probably going to go to a sauna, uh, we're probably going to go karaoke, which is really big in Korea, um, and I'm also learning how to read Korean so we don't get lost. Um, yeah, I mean, I'm pre I am pretty much got the reading part down, the speaking part not so much. I gotta work on that in a month. Um, first I gotta, like, get through my finals, so I gotta study Japanese first. And then I can study a little bit of Korean, so I can not get lost and stuff. Um, but, yeah, besides that, um, I've pretty much stayed in the last two days, watched movies, I've been on a really weird sleep schedule where I go to sleep at like, I don't know, 5 or 6 in the morning. Last night I went to bed at 8 in the morning, um, and then I wake up around 4 or 5 in the afternoon. So, yeah, it's kind of weird. Um, I didn't like get on that schedule on purpose, but now that I'm stuck on it, I'm kind of stuck on it, really. Um, but yeah, last night, staying up that late was not intentional. I just got really caught up in the itinerary planning and budget planning and then I was like whoa it's really late so anyway um in about 30 minutes I'm gonna head off to Shibuya for clubbing um we're only clubbing until about 2 30 though so that's only about like three hours of clubbing so that shouldn't be too horrendous not like the five hours that we've done before or four four three or four four hours um but yeah that's about it. Happy New Year, everyone, because I probably won't make another one of these um, for a couple more days. And yeah, hope everyone has a fun and safe New Year's.